This whole place is going to come down. Maria Lopez, an experienced welder, knows something's wrong with the tower, a deadly flaw nobody else sees. But in a world of steel beams and stubborn bosses, proving she's right could cost her everything. Hi everyone, welcome to Tales Unveiled. Today, I'm excited to share a new story with you. Let's get started. The skyscraper stood unfinished, its jagged top piercing the sky. Maria tightened her ponytail, the wind whipping at her worn coveralls. Another day in paradise. Below, the construction site throbbed, shouting the clang of steel, the relentless groan of machinery. She was used to the noise, used to being the only woman in a sea of hard hats. It was the price you paid to do what she loved. Her cramped trailer was a haven of greasy tools and faded blueprints. She scanned the latest update on the central support beams, the heart of the whole damn structure. Something pricked at the back of her mind, a wrongness she couldn't quite put her finger on. Welding was in her blood. Her father, a man built from calluses and quiet pride, had taught her everything. He hadn't lived to see her graduate, but the framed certificate on the trailer wall was for him. Now, instead of lecture halls, she had this steel jungle and a constant chip on her shoulder the size of a rivet gun. Lopez! The foreman's bark cut through her thoughts. Buzz was his name, a man who looked like he'd been born squinting into the sun. Welding inspection, Sector 5. And make it snappy, the suits are breathing down my neck. Sector 5 was the new section, the one racing to meet their impossible deadline. The walk up the half-built skeleton made her stomach clench. Heights weren't her favorite, but fear came second to getting the job done right. Floor by floor, she checked the welds, her torchlight glinting off the pitted metal. Most were solid, some were sloppy. The usual rush job mess. Then she saw it. A hairline fracture in a central support weld. Not big, not obvious, but with the kind of stress this building would carry. It was like a bomb waiting to go off. Cold dread settled heavier than her tool belt. She knew how this worked. Report it to the engineers, they'd dismiss it as a woman not knowing her place. Do it through official channels, and by the time the paperwork cleared, half the building could be rubble. She found Harris, the junior engineer, smirking over her notes. Listen, sweetheart, this design's been triple-checked. His patronizing tone ignited her fury faster than a welding arc. Time was wasting, and that crack wasn't getting any smaller. Back in her trailer, surrounded by the familiar smell of scorched metal and old coffee, she wrestled with it. The calculations swam in front of her eyes, mixing with memories of her father's lessons. It was a long shot, a fix so drastic it bordered on insane. But as the sun began to dip, casting the half-built tower in a blood-red light, the wrongness of it all gnawed at her. Sleep was a battle she lost. Before dawn, the trailer rattled with the first crews arriving. Today wasn't about keeping her head down. Today was about being heard, even if it meant getting crushed under the weight of her mistake. She found Buzz surrounded by blueprints. His weathered face tightened like a fist when he saw her. What now, Lopez? Another one of your bright ideas? Maria held his gaze, something new behind her own. Got more than an idea, Buzz. Got a way to stop this whole damn tower coming down around our ears. He scoffed, but there was a flicker in his eye, curiosity mixed with doubt. She shoved a crumpled sheet of calculations and a rough sketch at him, the metal table vibrating with the force of it. Those beams, the stress distribution, it's wrong, not by much, but enough. And the welds. That crack I found yesterday... It's just the start. Buzz stared at the paper, then at her. Foreman like him didn't like being shown up, especially not by some woman half his age. She could almost hear the gears grinding in his head, the cost, the delays, the suits in their fancy offices who wouldn't give a damn about the workers on the ground. And your fix? 
Reinforcing the whole structure, you know what that'll... He didn't finish, but they both knew. It was a death sentence for the deadline, for bonuses, for a lot of reputations. Buzz crumpled the paper, the noise like a gunshot in the sudden silence. But below his gruff exterior, she saw it, a flicker of doubt, the same kind she'd battled all night. You're telling me to tear down half my work, he growled. On your say-so? Look, she lowered her voice, knowing the other men were subtly shifting closer to eavesdrop. I ain't some greenhorn who doesn't know a wrench from a hole in the ground, and I ain't doing this to make you look bad. But either those beams get fixed, or this whole place becomes a damn graveyard. Something in her tone must have hit home. Buzz rubbed his jaw, the stubble rasping like sandpaper. You do this, you fail. It's your ass on the line, Lopez. She nodded. It was the only way. The next hour was a blur. Buzz bellowing orders, engineers swarming the site, a sense of panic starting to ripple through the crew. Maria was shoved aside, ignored, the woman who'd just saved their necks. Let them think what they want. She retreated to her trailer, surrounded by the ghosts of better plans. It was nearly dusk when Buzz found her, the fading light throwing harsh shadows across his face. The suits want your head, he said, no kindness in it. But the structural guys, they ran your numbers. You were right. The relief crashed over her like a wave, leaving her weak in the knees. He kicked at a loose bolt, then met her gaze with a grudging respect she'd never thought she'd earn. Damn lucky for a lot of us you ain't as green as you look. News spread like wildfire. The crew, at first whispering and resentful, now looked at her different. Not as a woman, not just a good welder, but as someone who'd stopped them all from being buried in their own work. The cocky engineer sidled up with mumbled apologies she barely heard. Buzz even grunted something that passed for a thank you. The deadline got shredded. The suits in their shiny offices might curse her name. But down here in the world of iron and sweat, she'd earned her place. It wasn't a promotion, not yet, but it was a start. The repairs stretched into weeks. Maria worked harder than she ever had, welding through double shifts and ignoring the ache in her bones. Her father would have been proud. Some nights, when the skeletal tower pierced the starry sky, she'd catch Buzz watching her. Not with distrust anymore, but with something like appraisal. Then, as the last of the reinforcements went into place, stronger than before, he came into her trailer, tossed a battered hard hat onto her workbench. It ain't fancy, he said, but it's yours. Foreman's position opened up. Think you can handle it? The trailer seemed to tilt with the weight of it. Maria took the hard hat, turned it in her calloused hands. She thought of her father, the quiet pride glowing in his eyes, his faith in her that nothing on this site could match. Don't know, she said finally but I reckon I owe it to him to try. Buzz grunted, something like approval. The walk back to the tower wasn't about celebrating, it wasn't about giving up, either. The wind cut at her, a harsh reminder of everything she was up against. The construction site throbbed beneath her feet, the noise now familiar, a reminder of the risks and the work still left to do. Months later, she stood on the finished tower, the city spread out like a broken toy. Foreman Lopez sounded okay, but it didn't erase the hard stares from some of the older guys. The new girl, though, she looked up to Maria. That was something, at least. But real change. That was a battle fought day by day, not one with a single fix. She gripped the railing, the metal cold against her hands. Had she made things better? or just become a better paid part of the same broken system. One day, that girl down there would be where Maria was now. Would she see a role model or a warning? The view from the top was a hell of a long way down, but at least for today, she wasn't the one falling. Loved this story? Tap that like button and subscribe to the channel for more.
Let us know how this story made you feel with a single word in the comments. While you're at it, check out the video currently on your screen. See you next time.